Hello everyone, so I'm back because my phone refuses to work to record anything. So this is going to be a little bit hazier because my tablet's older and the camera's kind of broken. But basically what you want to do is get them flat like this. It says noodle thickness. Not going to be able to bone with your hands, I did it with a pan. For your Italian... Sassini? Sassini? I don't know. I was using my tablet to uh, look at the recipe, so the rest of this is kind of blind! But anyway, what I do know is that you're supposed to roll it up as thin as possible. So, when I rolled mine up, it looked kind of like this. But it has to be, like, thinner. I don't know if the second, the first video is going to work because I tried doing it with the editor and it like corrupted the video a bit. Well, not a bit. I don't even know if it corrupted it or not. It just won't save. So I don't know if it's good to go with the music I put in it or not. Or not. But I'm fixing my Christmas cookie. So here it is. We can't all be perfect, but I'm pretty sure this is how it's supposed to be done. They were a lot thicker than five inches by one and a half inches, or whatever it was. So, here's what my Sensi cookie looks like. And, oh, if you're using this as a tutorial, um, it might be very late in the recording for this, but don't, don't use this as a, as a tutorial. Because... When it comes to baking, I'm only good at things from boxes. Cooking, I can throw anything the heck I want together, and it'll be fine. That's why I'm such a good chef. Because I just know. I just know. But with baking, I don't. So this is what my flattened cookie looks like. And it said... I'm going to try to get it nice and um, even, because I'm pretty sure that makes a difference. You need to fry the cookies, too. So, you're going to need a lot of things for this. But before I do that, I'm going to attempt to roll this one up. And we're going to see what happens. Do, do, do. So, I guess... Oh, this one turned out real nice. Probably like it's supposed to turn out. <laughs> the first one's always the fuck up. Alright, phone. 15%. You suck. Dude, okay, so I was, uh, Stacy Plays tweeted. She didn't tweet me, but she tweeted in general. Um. That the YouTube processing was a lot slower than I remembered. And she's still right, because currently it's been processing for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, and it's only 25% through. So, yeah, Stacy, oh, you're not probably not going to be watching this, but if you are, you were right. You're so much right. It's slower. Half my head is out of the video, and it's, this is going to be a bad video for one. About four minutes remaining. Try four hours. Man, sometimes Google just does this. And it's not their fault. It's technology. I'm not blaming any... See, this is... Okay. So now the perfect one looks like a caterpillar. But basically, I've got these, which are kind of cubic. I hope that's right. I need to cut them. Uh, like, five inches... I don't even know what five inches looks like. So I'm going to assume that it's about, if I make this a bit thinner, it's about here. So I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be done. Like I said, don't use me as a tutorial. This is my five inches. Probably very, very wrong. Um, I really honestly don't care. They're Christmas cookies to me. I need to find some confectionate sugar, though. I'm going to cut these up. I don't know. 
if it matters how long they are, just as long as you have the taste right, to me it doesn't matter. To other people it may. So I'm going to cut these ones a bit smaller so I get more cookies out of them. And I'm going to try to keep it cubic too, like I said. Thick, nice and thick. Because you never know what the future holds for your cookies. Am I right? Right. Right. Sorry, the advertisement stuck in my head. One, two, three, four, five, two, four, five, four on the bottom. Okay, so the first one's a bit thick, but we've got these. And you have to fry them. So I'm going to get myself a pan. Or I could use my... What the heck is my wok? Is it down here? Ow. Okay, sorry. About this. I'm not 100% prepared, as you can tell. I'm never 100% prepared, prepared. But we're going to get this up high. And we're going to get this. In here, so frying the cookies would be nice. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. The oil needs to be, and you need to preheat to 375. I'm going to get the baking sheet. Hopefully, this will work out. I'm going to use this. I don't know if this is good enough or not, but gonna have to be. So what you need to do, oh right, we need to drain on paper towel. 94% processed. Yay, it's time to see if I ruined the first video or not. Because if I did, this video is not gonna make much sense, is it? I swear it's messed up. I ruined something. But we've got our um, Italian Sanchi. Sanchi. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. But I'm going to now put these. Well, first, I'm going to transfer them over there so I can try to look professional. Even though I'm using a tablet to record this and it's not going to be the best quality. But. Dude, my biggest dream is to meet Stacy. I'm going to be honest with you. Like dog craft, Stacy. Like unique. Ready to watch. Let's watch it. Is it ruined? Okay. So, this is the fifth time I've tried to make this video. And yes, this is not ruined. Really because I just. Okay, so I wanted you guys to be able to see what it looks like putting the cookies in. So, I'm going to angle this towards the pan a lot. And we're going to try this. Now the oil is not that very hot right now, so putting them in should not be a problem. Getting them out is going to be a big one. I'm going to try to fit in as many as I can. Now you're supposed to deep fry them, but I'm not a fan of deep frying. So I'm going to let them cook and I'm going to come back to you, okay? Something has gone very, very wrong. <laughs> Just let me show you. So this is not what they're supposed to do. And they're smelling like the burnt. So I'm going to do this. They're coming undone. So they're more looking like cinnamon rolls. But they're not. So I'm going to bake them and see if anything changes. Holy shit. I done goofed. Now they're burnt on that side. Well, this is more like a Christmas roll anyway. So, now that that's out of the way, we're going to do that. As you can see, um, I told you baking wasn't my strong point. I'm pretty sure this inside is still doughy. So I'm going to attempt to cook the cookies again on the other side, and I'll see you in a bit. Word to the wise, don't use this part of the video as, as, as a tutorial. It's not smoky in here, it's just my camera is old, that's all. Um, yeah, the cookies are very much burnt. Putting them 
in the oven is probably not going to be anything better. So, but they have to go in. I'm going to see if I can actually trim the cookie or if the burnt part is just on the outside. Let me get the trusty knife I used to cut them with. We're going to check where this goes. Oh, okay. So it is just the outside. So if you do burn the cookies, I want you to know. To never eat them. So this is not Italian Sensi at all. Sensi is flat, like literally noodle flat. Another note, it's actually pretty good. They're, they're not that bad when they're burnt. Cook one piece at a time, even though they're flat. The oven's already preheated. So what I'm going to do is attempt to cook the rest of the inside. Even though these fried cookies are um, kind of tasting like biscuit. In fact, you know what? These are going to be my Christmas cookies now. So we've got these fun Christmas cookies that I messed up so bad on, and they're not doughy. Oh, they are kind of doughy on the inside. Literally, it looks like I messed up a cinnamon bun. If you can make them flatter, children, make them flatter. Okay. I don't feel safe putting these in the oven, but I've used all the resources I have, so. I'm gonna put them in there for about, timer, three minutes. And I'll come back when they're done. 